Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, it's LS lesson, LS rebuild time. Since last week, we got the intake manifold off. We got a clear shot down there. We also pulled the harmonic balancer puller off. And it's good to note that LS, you're going to have to have a special puller. But once we got it on there, bam, it come off with no problem, Brian. You're next. Absolutely. You know what? I love documenting this project all along the way. All kinds of diagrams out there on the interweb, all kinds of manuals. But I like to have my own notes for reference. It's a common mistake. You get all into it. You get everything back together and you're saying hmm where did that pulley go where did that mounting bolt go so we've got the water pump just about ready to come off here and get this out of our way but I like to have that record of it so that we can refer back yep. there we go especially on that front end that's a nightmare if you have a bunch of pulleys ours had one big one well I'm ready to pull the valve cover off but once again I'm not pulling the valve cover off to pull the valve cover off I'm doing an inspection I'm looking down in here I'm looking at my rockers I'm checking them right now now's the perfect time remember all the way back to segment one if I had some cylinder leakage now's the time to isolate on that cylinder the rockers the condition of the rockers are any of them loose right now are they all center wear on the valves are they center wear on the push rods do the push rods look straight that's what's taking it about that's that systematic approach Brian absolutely and I'm looking for shavings I'm looking for degradation any kind of evidence in there these guys are traveling way fast and so there's all kinds of breakdown that could happen this looks pretty good over here nothing yeah. obviously visual yeah mine too which represents those good compression readings we would have known but here's the deal now we have the center plate knock sensors are located down in there so we had to remove those first couple bolts around here and there's not a whole lot to see inside of here it's just a center valley but I take that off we gain access to that as well I'm gonna go ahead and get this timing cover off so we can get a good look in here at the timing chain yep. sprockets check the condition there'll be some deflection in that chain you got it yep I got it okay a couple more here there's gonna be some deflection in that change we Voila. need we need to look at now once yeah. again don't pull it off and forget it just look down here I'm looking for stuff man I'm looking for evidence of any shavings I'm looking at my teeth around here Pulling it off and throwing it down is not going to do you any good because this is where perhaps we had all low readings. Maybe we had a noise in the front end. This is the issue we would be dealing with, it this is. front components. You got the oil pump here, you got the actual drive, you got the crankshaft down here, you got the camshaft right there. But the cool part is if I get a pry bar Absolutely. on the crankshaft back here, Brian, and you actually watch, I'll put it you on the flywheel. Here, you tell me, tell me when we start pulling that other side okay. so we can actually look there at that we stretch. Go. There it is, and now we're tight on this side. All right, so we're tight on that side. Now you can either look at a distributor and see when it moves. That's called time and chain deflection, or you can put a dial indicator. We got one right here. We can put it here a little bit later, and we can see how much stretch we have, time and chain stretch. So watch this. Bam, that's it. And in okay. that distance, if your dial indicator was right there, in that distance of travel, about a half a tooth, you'd see the, exactly what that deflection is. Man, we're going to replace excited. this all anyway, right, because yep. we're going to be in here. Another little tip for you. As you go deeper into this, grab the shop vac, suck all this dirt and contamination out after you've you know, checked for your evidence of any kind of degradation. Yep. Stick around. Garage Ed's coming up next. We're going to talk mass airflow sensors. We'll be back with more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.